You're watching this video because you're considering a job role as a home care worker with Caremark. Like most jobs, this job role has both shortcomings as well as the good fun parts of the job. And this video should help you decide if the carer role is a good fit for you. My routine can be quite unpredictable sometimes, but as a carer, my day can typically start as early as setting my alarm for 5.30 in the morning. I could finish as late as 10 o'clock at night and go to bed as late as half 11, 12 o'clock some days. My first client today is Anne. We supply Anne with three calls a day, Monday to Friday, and two calls a day on Saturdays and Sundays. The three calls in the week are a morning call to get Anne out of bed and to give her breakfast, a lunch call to supply some lunch and some domestic tasks, and a bed call. This is so we can help Anne with any personal care needs, help her into her nightwear, and possibly provide a meal if necessary. As soon as I enter Anne's home, I call out to her so she knows it's me who has come to see her that day. Hello, Anne! I then go to find her and greet her face to face. Good morning, darling. Hello, darling. Hello, I'm all right. How are you today? Nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Yeah. After I've said hello, I will then go straight to the kitchen to wash my hands and to put my PPE on. As I'm not providing personal care on this visit, it is just a simple face mask and gloves. Before you get started anywhere, always wash your hands. Make sure they're always dry thoroughly. These are always freshly popped out in the morning as well, so they can go in the wash afterwards. So we've got laundry today, and just general cleaning around the kitchen, and loading or unloading the dishwasher, and any clearing up that needs to be done. A lot of stuff's very much common sense, stuff you do automatically at home. I always think the faster I get any little tasks done around the house, the more time you can spend with somebody and get to know them. So the next thing on the list for this morning is the laundry. And then it will be to make the bed as well. So pillows are always folded in this fashion at this particular home that's slightly different that they prefer over anything else is what's important. And it's a bit chilly today so I'm going to close the window too a bit more. There we go. So on a usual morning um, Anne would still be in bed so we'd help her up and dress in the morning uh, as she's already up and dressed at the moment. The only thing I've had to do today is to make the bed and open the curtains some days we'd also vacuum the floors in here as well and uh, we'd also help pick out some clothes and make it look nice for the day. Every day is a little bit different here so one day you'll be doing laundry and the kitchen, uh, the next day will be beds and bathrooms and the day after that it could be dusting around the house um, but everything's just on a set rotor on a timetable just to make sure everything gets done and everything is clean. I then come back downstairs pop the laundry on and take the bins out. But laundry typically just tends to get done about once a week here. We also handle all the recycling as well, which are in separate bins. Once all the domestic tasks have been done, as you've been picking up lots of dirty laundry, bins, any of that, you don't want to be preparing any tea or coffee or touching any food without changing your gloves and washing your hands first. The only tip I can give with this job is to make sure you have plenty of hand lotion or hand balm at home because after washing your hands about 20 times a day you need it. I would then go straight through to Anne and we can then have a chat. This is just before lunch and Anne is expecting family to come over to, for a meal. So there is no meal preparation required today. Oh, I tell you what though, it's nice when you're inside in this weather though. Keeps you nice and cosy. Yeah. I, then offer Anne a cup of tea and we go through to the Take kitchen. <laughs> Take your hanky. Yeah. Lovely it's cup of tea. And uh, what do you think? Shall we see if we've got any cake in the, in the fridge for you? 
She keeps me company while I make her tea and we sit down together and she will show me photos of her family from an album she has nearby. So this is everybody at a party together. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's you. Family. <laughs> Andrew's your son, and then you got the three grandchildren, and then I think that's his daughter. It's a lot of names and a lot of faces to remember. As we get close to the end of the visit, I will then start to pack away anything that needs to be off the surfaces or washing up any dishes that are left out. I then start making my notes for that visit, stating that I called out to her when I entered, uh, the domestic work I've done that day, and that I've also changed my PPE in the middle of the call. I have an app specifically on my phone in order to write notes of what I've done for the day. So for Anne, it would have things in here just to help out with what duties I need to complete, uh, what I have and have not done, and then you then just go up and write in some notes. So today, I would say that I'd let myself in on arrival and that Anne was in the living room watching TV. Domestic tasks, and I'd write out what they were. So I would say that I've done the laundry, wiped the kitchen sides down, and that I had also made the bed and opened any curtains. I will also say that we had a chat and a cup of tea together and that she was happily sitting in the kitchen when I left. I would then log out and say my goodbyes to Anne before leaving to go back to my car to make my way to my next call. Right then, my lovely. Oh my Have God. a lovely day, okay? Yeah, where, where are you going now? So I've just got to go to... I am actually, yes, that's where I'm off to. I'll leave that there for you in case you'd like to have a little look. Well, like I said, have a lovely day, Anne, okay? Thank you, thank and I'll. That's all Take right. Care. You too, I'll see you soon. Bye. bye bye. My second call of the day is Sheila. Sheila requires four calls a day and is a double up care call. This means that two carers are required to attend at each visit because she has a hoist which requires two people to operate. Typically, a normal day would consist of me having a packed lunch, but as today I've got quite a large gap in between, so that gives me the opportunity to actually stop somewhere, have a cup of coffee and something hot to eat. There are some days where you are just going to be late, no matter what you try and do, whether it's traffic or a cyclist, or you're running late at a client that you're already at and you've ran over. Some days you will just be late and there's not really anything you can do about it but just try and do the best you can when you get there. Sheila's four calls are a morning call, a lunch call, a tea call and a bed call. During the morning call we would help Sheila with any personal care needs before hoisting her out of bed to start her morning routine. During the lunch and tea calls we would hoist Sheila back into her bed to provide her with some personal care before hoisting her out of bed to provide her with a meal. At the bed call, we would then hoist Sheila back into bed to help her change into her nightwear, ready to settle down for the evening. This specific visit is a lunch call, and when we had arrived, we hoisted Sheila into her bed to provide her with her personal care before hoisting her back to her chair. We then administered Sheila's medication before asking her what she would like to have for her lunch. Some people uh, literally like us to make their food from scratch, so that will literally mean preparing vegetables um, or literally cooking the meat from raw. Uh, some people have pre-prepared meals that we just heat up and some people, uh, you do literally just take whatever you can from their fridge or from their deliveries. Uh, Eloise is just preparing some sausages and we'll just get the kettle on the boil to make some gravy. And lunch, Sheila. Thank you. Just for you, young lady. Oh, thank you. This call does require two carers, uh, also in order to use the hoist, which will help us to lift Sheila up 
and to transfer her over to her chair or her bed. Sheila has recently added another call called a social call onto her weekly visits where someone will come over to spend some quality time with Sheila to help do her hair and her nails. Once we've supplied Sheila with her lunch we can then sit down and have a chat with her and exchange stories and have a laugh. It's so important to write everything down especially in this job uh, whether there's a bruise that from when somebody had sat down and hit their shoulder on the back of their chair. You don't know what information is going to be needed later. Like any job, there are things that you will like and you won't like. Luckily in this job, the things I don't like are the inevitable things that you just can't avoid, such as getting caught in traffic when you're in a rush to get to a client. What makes this job different from all the others is that it's a far more personal experience, one-on-one -on -one with everyone you meet. I believe that everybody wants to do good, and that is exactly what I want to do. This job allows me to do good, even if it's just by putting a smile on somebody's face and knowing that they are both happy and healthy when I leave their home. No matter how far ahead in the future we are, no matter how well technology evolves, carers will always be needed. Nothing can replace that one-on-one, -on -one, person to person smile. My best advice for anyone thinking about becoming a part of the care community is to go in with an open mind and an open heart and to really just give it a try because you will not believe how rewarding this job can be.